In almost every company that I've ever worked at, there has always been some type of naming convention when using or when creating your Git branches. So Git being the version control tool that most programmers are aware of. Now, there are legitimate reasons as to why we had to do it. For example, some of them kicked off certain resources, spun up certain instances, you know, whatever, or it makes it easier to read when you're doing Git blames, which I do frequently. And having the ability to see which commit made these changes makes it a lot easier as to understand the reasoning. I can go back and look at that PR and like, oh, this is why these changes occurred. You know, this was a good thing or bad thing or what have you. The bad thing is that I would sometimes forget to include that little commit format in my git commits. And so the workaround that I did was to hook up Maggit, the porcelain, the git porcelain that works in Emacs, to just automatically include that whenever I start creating a commit. So let me quickly jump into the configuration file. Now, before I can show it off, I need to make some changes in the Git so that I can actually commit those stages. Otherwise, it's just empty because if we look at Maggot right now, there's nothing that is pending to be committed. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go jump into the appropriate uh, section. So it's in version control. It's not under Maggot. It's under a, another package called git commit, although Maggot does use git commit. Anyways, what I'm doing is I am here in this hook called git commit setup. I am saying, hey, whenever you run this hook, I want you to run this function as well. And this function is right def rightly defined right here in the index section that is called gopar auto insert jira ticket in commit message. Pretty straightforward. Most of my utility functions are pretty simple and to the point, such as these. And as you saw in the other video related to the underscore, if you guys saw that. Anyways, let me break it down. What's going on? I'm saying, hey, I'm saying if the git branch matches this regex, then hey, it has a ticket title. This is just another variation of it. I needed this one because of the company that I worked at previously had a different naming convention. So for example, it was gopar slash and then the Jira ticket number, but I no longer need that. So I can just erase that. We're good. And I can also erase this section and we are good. So now it's even simpler now. It just says, hey, if it has a ticket title, and it has multiple words, then I just say, hey, it has ticket, and then I insert that in there. So this gets the, uh, the, the project name and then the ticket number, essentially, and then just puts it together. It may all make more sense once I add, once I should demo it. So let's go ahead, yes, commit what I, or save what I have so that it can show me and say, hey, these are the changes, on stage changes, you wanna stage them, yes, and I commit them, and voila. You see, automatically imports, or not imports, but inserts the Jira ticket number in little brackets, so you can change that as you want, as you wish. And now I can just do, just for show in YouTube. So there you go. I can just do that and commit it, and then we are good to go. But yeah, that is just a quick example on how you can automatically make the tool or make Emacs work for you instead of you know forgetting things and, and things like that. But yeah, that is it. Remember, knowledge grows when it is shared. Thanks.